Hi everyone, I'm Yu Meng from uh, Reframe. So today I'm here to introduce one of our new offerings uh, from Kenya. So this one is from the Gatuya Coffee Factory in the Muranga region, consisting of uh, just the SL28 and SL34, two of my favorite or, uh, varietals in Kenya. Okay. So for this coffee, our roasting philosophy is uh, slightly different. So typically in Kenya, you are used to like super really really bright acidities, and then uh, you are gonna find very uh, similar flavors like tomatoish or, or like black currants, right? This is classic Kenya profile. But for us, whenever we source the uh, uh, Kenya coffees, we try to look for something different. We want to push the boundaries and see what we can taste. Maybe something different from Kenya, right? So for this coffee, what we did is we actually tried to increase the development of the coffee since there's so much acidity. We want to sort of push it so that we can see how much sweetness we can enhance further in this coffee. And I think we are pretty happy with what the results that we are seeing. Um, so I'm going to share this coffee today with you guys. I'm going to brew a, 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 I'm going to share my brewing recipe today and then share what I will taste in the coffee. Right? So I have here prepared um, 16 grams of uh, Kenya. So my plan is to do 260 ml which is a ratio of 16. Just start. Right, so I'm using 90 degrees. So for this coffee, since the development is slightly higher than what normally we will do for our coffees, to try to make it more uh, higher in sweetness. So for the temperature, you want to go with something a little bit more safer. So I'm, I'm doing roughly in the middle 90 Celsius. I would recommend if you are brewing typically in this uh, range, don't, don't go with any temperature that's uh, higher. Right? Just try to go a bit lower. Okay, so I'm brewing with uh, 50 ml of water for 30 seconds. This is a very common blooming uh, for most coffees, nothing special in the blooming place. So uh, right now we are tasting the coffee like one week post roast, which I find is kind of where the, the peak is for this coffee. Uh, earlier on, if you're tasting it a bit earlier on the first few days, you might get more of like a green tea note, uh, but that will actually go away once it reaches its uh, peak in about seven to 10 days. Okay, for my second pour, I'll be adding about 100 ml all the way to 160. That will, I will let it draw until about one minute before I do my final pour. So for this coffee, again, since the development is a bit higher, um, you don't have to go for high agitation, you don't have to grind too fine. Uh, in fact, I'm using slightly coarser than usual. Okay, so for my final pour, I will bring it all the way to 260 ml. Right. Okay. So I personally find that this coffee has extremely excellent sweetness. Right. So by pushing the roasting profile a little bit further, we are getting a lot of this um, dried figs kind of sweetness, which really really supports the coffee from hot and cold. So the final drawdown will finish at about two, hundred, uh, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Right now, we are about at the two minute mark. And I just, my personal preference, I like to do a big swirl at the end, just to sort of collect all the grounds and they evenly draw down towards the end. Okay. Close that. Alright. That's where I end the ball. Okay. Give it a quick swirl. As usual, you don't want to drink coffee that's too hot. Let that cool down a little bit. So, um, this coffee has a very prominent plum flavor to it. Um, when hot, you actually get higher sweetness. The body is a little bit uh, higher in the beginning. Um, then, as it cools down, the the plum will sort of be the, the main character of it, and then you start getting a chrysanthemum floral note to it. And that that lasts that lasts throughout the entire uh, cup from start to end. So in the beginning, it might not be that apparent, but the, 
the acidity and the brightness of the coffee will really really shine when it cools down. It will turn really really juicy. And that's what we love about Kenyan coffees, right? So even though with the extra development that we're doing, we're not losing any of that acidity, we're not losing losing any of that brightness that we love about uh, Kenyan coffees, but now you're getting way, way more uh, sweetness coming out of the coffee. So I'll use my favorite cup today. I kind of feel that the purple color really kind of represents Kenya. Uh, so, yeah. There you go. So I really love this coffee. I love working with this coffee. And I hope you guys have, uh, you know, really have fun with this coffee and really enjoy the, the coffee as much as we did.